Pressure. Pressure coming down the sideline. And that's it. It is intercepted. Richie Grant, one of your impact players. Did he keep his feet in bounds? He comes after Olodokun with pressure. Gibson off the edge and then decides to throw that ball away. That's why they're so good in turnovers. Empty backfield. Milton. He throws a pick. Roberts has it for the Bulls. He's got a blocker. Finds the sideline and Roberts will angle out of bounds in the red zone. Just like that, the Bulls have it back. A little bit of abnormal for Mackenzie Milton. Let's just watch Roberts play his high half. And Mackenzie Milton gets a little bit confused with the coverage, unsteady in the pocket, receiver falls down, but quarterbacks don't go late across the middle. Once you move in the pocket like that, if that ball sails on you, that's gonna be a pick. Up over Mike Hampton. Penalty flag down, Milton to the end zone, touchdown! And it's Davis again. Get to line of scrimmage. USF can't get set. I've got a free play. Play fake from Milton. He knows he's got a confident throw at his ability because of the offsides and drills it into Gabe Davis. And they love doing this kind of play action hard. UCF, four for six on third down. Milton sprinting out. Oh, he's cut down at the 25. And it's going to be fourth down and two. Ooh, Milton is down on the field, and that doesn't look good. Mackenzie Milton is injured down on the field. The training staff quickly comes out to look at the star quarterback. A hush has fallen over the stadium. 57,000 people all hoping and praying for Mackenzie Milton, who's down on the field. He was hit moments ago by Mazzy Wilkins on a third down run. And he has suffered a serious leg injury. The USF sideline is down on one knee. The UCF team is out around Mackenzie Milton, the star junior quarterback out of Hawaii, who has led this team to 23 straight victories. They have lifted Mackenzie Milton onto the cart. Back here in Tampa, where the star quarterback for the UCF Knights is going to be taken to the hospital. His right leg is in a brace. Both teams out to give him support, including the USF Bulls. I mean, he has obviously meant so much to the Knights over the last two years. But he's meant a lot yeah. to the American Athletic Conference yeah. and to college football at large. Well, he represents everything that's amazing about college football, that you can come from anywhere. Listen to this crowd. You know, I, got, I got chills listening to this crowd because Mackenzie Milton's a great football player. Great football player, but he's a great kid. And this is teammates, friends. That's what he represents to UCF. And so you can come from anywhere and be anything you want. 50% on third down in this game. Big hole. There goes McCray. No one's going to get him. Touchdown. A 40-yard touchdown run for UCF. Excuse me, Kalubiali coming across the line of scrimmage. Down, down, kick out block. McCray's able to follow right behind that tight end. UCF does a lot of stuff with that tight end in that hip position, being part of their run game. It allows for better angers of the offensive line and a beautiful block. Goes out. Oladokun throws. Pass is caught. Johnny Ford room. And he's gone. Touchdown. Johnny Ford. Tim on Jasinski, one on one, the middle linebacker. Johnny Ford with great patience off the line of scrimmage. Get Jasinski to move to you on a little bit of a jerk route. 
Get him the ball in open space and no one will catch him. All it, it play, it's an extension of the run game. You just got him in a one-to-one -to -one matchup, one-on-one -on -one matchup, and man-to-man. -man. Beautiful patience by Johnny Ford. But the line. Good adjustments by the UCF offense. And now it's Greg McRae to the 20. He's going to go. Touchdown. That's the UCF we know. Cross and trapped and end. Now he'll start left, go in that same angle like he's going to come back on a counter action and seal the block for McCray. So both of those plays look very similar at the snap. Just a little bit of a tweak. Kalubiali sells that he's going to go back across the formation, puts his foot in the ground. McCray with great vision. And that's the thing that I love about the UCF offense the most is the creativity in their design. Kulubiali with a great block to Spring McCray, but it starts because it looks like the initial touchdown that McCray. Great protection up front for the UCF O-line. They'll go back to McCray. Gone, touchdown. He's got the hat trick. And the streak of 30 plus points. It's now tied UCF and USF at 24 games in a row. A former walk-on put on scholarship this year. He has been fantastic. Three touchdown night for the sophomore from Miami. And the Knights have a comfortable lead. We've spoke a bunch this year about Mackenzie Milton and your relationship with him. What was that moment in the second quarter like for you? Yeah, he just it breaks your heart for a kid that's worked so hard to, to go out and compete. Loves his brothers and, and plays for them. What type of updates can you give us about his injury? Uh, nothing right now, but uh, proud of the way our kids uh, responded here today. Uh, D Mac stepped up, played a great job, or did a great job here, uh, second quarter and second half, and uh, we'll enjoy this one tonight and then get ready for a conference championship game. Where was Daryl Mack at his best tonight? Uh, I think he did a good job in the, in the passing game and in the run game. He managed the clock at the end of the game in four minutes. We have complete confidence in what he's doing. How would you describe Greg McRae's outing? Three touchdowns all over the yeah, place tonight. An, an absolutely fantastic job pressing the line of scrimmage, making guys miss in the, in the second and third levels. Uh, he's played great football for us. This game's a little bit different. It's the war on I-4. What does this win mean for this program? Uh, this is a, a huge victory. At the end of the day, uh, we talked about winning a divisional title, giving ourselves a chance to go on and win a conference championship. This is a trophy game for us, though. It's big for our kids in-state. It's big for our fans. Uh, we're going to enjoy this one tonight.